Wow, a pond. I wonder what lives here. I can see frogs, birds, and bugs. I wonder what's living down inside the pond. Let's take a look under the water and find out. Wow, I've never seen the bottom of a pond before. There's so many amazing plants and animals. Let's make our own pond. Great idea. Let's start our pond by adding rocks. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to the pond. Great. Now there's lots of places for the animals to live and hide. Let's keep going. Underwater plants. Floating plants. Oh, now we get to pick a plant to add. You can always use my book to hear more information. Underwater plants will help feed lots of pond animals. I wonder who will eat them. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals to the pond. Ponds need lots of different plants and animals to stay healthy. Let's pick one and see what happens. Worm, snail. These wiggly worms are so tiny. I wonder what other small animals live in the pond. I notice that each time we chew something, the pond changes. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different creatures live here, in the middle of the pond. I wonder what they are and what they eat. Tadpole, dragonfly larva. Wow, I wonder how many tadpoles are here. Count how many you see. We could take a closer look at the plants and animals in the pond with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. I noticed that the little worms wiggle when they swim. I think this is because they don't have fins like fish do. Dragonfly larva. Scavenger beetle larva. These larvae become bright colorful dragonflies when they grow up. They look so different as babies. Scavenger beetle larva, caddisfly larva. I wonder what the caddisfly will look like when the larva grows up. This frog is the grown up of the tap will be added. Now we're near the pond's surface. I wonder how the animals will be different here. Northern Pike, Red Spotted Newt. Newts have interesting features that make them look a little like a frog and a little like a lizard. Northern Pike, Pumpkin Seed Sunfish. Whoa, look at the size of them. Pumpkin seed sunfish, spotted bass. These little fish have lots of fun colors. What do you notice about the colors of the animals in the pond?
This dragonfly is the grown-up of the larva we added. We've reached the top. I wonder what new things we'll discover. Heron, King Fisher. The great blue heron mostly eats small fish. Mallard duck, painted turtle. Mallard ducks like the pond for bathing and finding food. Kingfisher, painted turtle. Kingfishers have pointy beaks that help them go fast when they dive into the water. We finished our pond. That was so cool. Let's keep exploring. You can keep exploring, or you can make another pond. Do you want to start a new pond? My animals.